Jimmy Butler, AKA Jimmy Buckets. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make an incredible perimeter lockdown. This is one of the builds that everyone loves to have on their team as a good teammate. When my boy Spec used to bring this build out in 2K20, I just had all the confidence that we were gonna win. When it comes to making his face, the cyber face is in place of the actual face that I used to begin with. So keep that in mind. This face creation comes from SJS Prod. A link to his video will be in the description. So definitely shout out to him. And as always, you don't have to use this face creation. You can use whatever one you want. And feel free to pause the video at any time to get the specifics down to a T. And there you have it, Jimmy Butler's face. Now we all know Jimmy Butler's listed at the small forward position, but if you make him a small forward, you're gonna lose a lot of badges. So you wanna go with the shooting guard or point guard, just go with shooting guard to keep it more legit. Now they don't call him Jimmy Buckets for no reason. He's definitely known for his clutch shooting in high pressure situations. And he always takes on the challenge of guarding the best player on the other team. Jimmy Butler's a dog, so we're gonna go with the red and green pie chart. Now you can be pretty flexible with his physical profile because all we're going to be doing is taking some clutch shots, shooting threes, and playing really good defense. But I'm going to have to go with the speed pie chart because speed kills in 2K. And when we increase his height to 6'7", we don't want to lose too much of that speed and acceleration. Now let's get these attributes right and get him as close to Jimmy Butler as possible. And when you're all done, you come away with 50 badge upgrades. That's a lot more than what you get at the small forward position. I'm gonna go with the built body shape because Jimmy Butler's pretty ripped, but when I reduce his weight, I wanna maintain that imposing body size. Now, Jimmy Butler is 6'7", 230, but if you increase his weight to 230 pounds, you're gonna lose a lot of speed and a lot of acceleration, so obviously we're gonna reduce that. In the gameplay, I have him down to 210, but you can drop him down all the way to 198, and that'll increase your speed and acceleration by one. Either one works, he's still gonna have that body size, although at 210, he's a little bit thicker, a little bit stronger looking. Now, this is one of the rare times I'll tell you guys to reduce his wingspan, only to increase his mid-range and three-point shot. His defense is already elite, and he'll have Hall of Fame defensive badges to make up for that little bit of a loss in arm length. And you're really not trying to catch bodies with this build either, so minus one to driving dunk is not that big a deal. Now with the perimeter lockdown, you definitely want to go with lockdown defender. You're going to shut down all those play shots in, in the rec center. You're going to be a problem for anybody on the park. But in this gameplay, I chose sharpshooter just because I haven't really used it that much this year. And also, Jimmy's just been so clutch in the playoffs. He's been clutch all season, and I feel like I'm pretty good good on defense as it is so we're gonna go with sharpshooting takeover and there you have it a perimeter lockdown and because he's a shooting guard they say he has shades of Ray Allen Victor Oladipo and Karis Levert at the small forward position he definitely would be Jimmy Butler a couple things to notice at 99 overall with Jim Rat you can add a plus 8 to all his physicals so you'd have a 90 speed and an 88 acceleration. You could be a major problem switching on defense and covering anybody, especially in the rec center. With this build, when it comes to slashing, you wanna make sure you're able to score through contact or avoid the defense altogether. So contact finisher, slithery finisher, they both work really well. As a rule of thumb, once you start building hot zones, you definitely wanna have hot zone hunter. And if you're playing against comp and you know games are gonna to be tough, you definitely wanna tack on clutch shooter, minimal gold, incredible at Hall of Fame. With Clutch Shooter and Range Extender, you can pull up from near half court on the park and end games easily. You guys can do whatever you want in this category. Either of these are really good because it's Jimmy Butler. We wanna emulate Jimmy as best as possible. If you make this build at the point guard position, you'll get some extra badges to choose from. But this is not really a ball handling build. So these are the badges I'm gonna go with. You definitely wanna have on bailout above bronze because there's gonna be a lot of people contesting your shot. You wanna make sure you get your shot off, but if there's some contest, you wanna be able to pass out of it and not accidentally throw it out of bounds. Now you can have as much fun as you want on defense. Obviously defensive leader would be really good as well. Now this is probably how I'd have it if I was in the park or the rec center with this build. If you're playing in my career, this is how you really want it. And take a look at this, because you're a shooting guard, if you play for the Miami Heat, there'll be two Jimmy Butlers. You can't lose with two Jimmy Butlers. We're gonna play against the Raptors because we just eliminated them and we want some competition. Hopefully it comes down to the wire and we can hit a clutch bucket to win the game. 
And now that we're into the gameplay, you're going to see that my Jimmy Butler is a little bit more brolic than the real Jimmy Butler. So I would recommend going with the 198 pound version rather than my 210 pound version. That, at least that's how I would switch it up. Unless you really like this extra size, as you saw with the 198 pound version, you get a little bit of boost of speed and acceleration. It's not by much, it's like one point or whatever. But this was a fun gameplay. I've been wanting to make this build for a long time, but I always have friends that step in as I get that big skill, cut down the court, and we're dunking on them. I always have friends that make the build for me. He just strips the ball, takes it, just take it away from him. And then we can just fade away. Buckets. I always have friends that make this build for me to help out. And I'm getting a huge block right there. Last year was spec. Um, earlier in the year, my buddy Prodigy had got this build as well. Or a perimeter lockdown just like this. And right here, that was contested. 42% cover. Green beam. And look at this. This is halftime, but we're supposed to be going into the third quarter. The ref is actually ready to inbound the ball, but look at my team. Where you going, Tyler? Where, Andre, what's going on? Why are you guys leaving? Oh, y'all mad because y'all ain't getting no PT? Because we got full stamina out here. But yeah, this build was a lot of fun to use. I mean, if I wasn't such a ball handler or the orchestrator of the offense, I would absolutely make a build like this. As I get the strip and once again dunking on him. There's like really no setback to his defense when you shorten his arms only once or twice. You only increase his, his three-point rating. And look at this. You can just strip the ball at any time. Feels like the ball is extremely tangible when you're using a lockdown. Right here, I cut across the middle, get an open shot in the corner. It's bottoms. Jimmy Butler has been killing it in the playoffs. You guys saw that matchup between him and Jason Tatum. And how he got that clutch bucket at the end. And this is just what he does. I mean, he's the clutch go-to closer for the Miami Heat. Although they have so many good shooters on that team. I mean, it's not like they don't have anybody else. They have so many guys that can close out games or hit key buckets to win the game. But look, it's 8.1 seconds left. Listen to that MVP chant. The crowd is behind Jimmy Butler because he's clutch. I greened the first one and I almost missed the second one. I don't know whose freak though that is, but let me know what you guys thought in the comments section. This is a great build, your boy Shake. Like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. into the gameplay, look at this build, man. Jamal Murray, he's been on my list. I've been watching him throughout the playoffs. I loved how they had, they had a good run last year, but this bubble, the matchup between him and Donovan Mitchell coming back down 3-1, down 3-1 against the Clippers. It's just like, this is definitely a build or a player that I want to emulate from the point guard position.